بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم گڈ آفٹرنون نیہاؤ السلام علیکم اسٹیم ایکسیلنسز فرام دا ونرایبل کمپنی فار اور جرنی فرام سعودی رام کو پی ایم پی پروپوننٹ رائل کمیشن اینڈ ویلیویڈ ریپرزنٹیٹو فرام ہاچی سا مائی فیلو جنٹلمین فرام چائنا ہاربر اینڈ آئی ویلکم یو آل ود آور اوپن ہارٹس اینڈ شیئر گریٹیچیوڈ ٹو دس سیرمنی Gentlemen, we are gathered today to celebrate the completion of the Czech City Commercial Port Offshore Project. My name is Navid Anwar from China Harbor Engineering Company. It is an honor to speak on behalf of China Harbor on this platform and share a glimpse of light on the history of this project. I will keep sharing the moments and struggles we had with you, but not all at once. Our project started on November 2016 and completed in August 2022. This is what we find on the display. First of all, I thank Mr. Yang, the Middle East General Manager of China Harbor Engineering Company for having a broad vision and taking on projects with Saudi Aramco in such remote areas. You have certainly enhanced our experiences and made us all a part of something greater than many of us. It will be an honor to have you on the stage and hear from you about the experience and feelings about this project and the future. Mr. Yang, please. Good afternoon, everyone. I get very excited today. Especially, I see so many people. We have worked in last years. We work together. We are overcome the challenge for the very bad weather. We are working together under the sunshine, under the sandstorm, under the great work pressure. But however, with the South Alamco support, with all the engineers from Chen Harbor, from Alamco, we get success. Especially. In the September 7th, the commercial port get inauguration. Uh, it's open a gate, uh, gateway for the south uh, way, south uh, west of the Saudi for future uh, development for the design economy city and the uh, Saudi. So we get very excited and we appreciate for South Alamo who gave us some during the construction. We appreciate the commission give us the support for the operation in the commercial port. I did remember when the commercial port started work. As the offshore, there is no special standard and specification for the offshore. We work with South Alamo together to find the suitable standard and specification for the project. Finally, we find the very perfect standard and the specification for the work. So now we can this port have a very good condition, have very success. This success is come from the effort from Aramico, especially from the general manager, Amsha Yaya. He worked with us together. I did remember in the last years, it's very hard. We work through the site. For hours, not one hour, for hours, we get it close, close get wet. This is an example. I believe all of our engineers, all the people from uh, this team work so hard to get this success. So this is why today I see so many faces. I feel not any exciting. I feel with our effort, with our this attitude, I believe not only coming report, not only the city, we believe Saudi will develop better and better. In Design economy port. I also did remember from beginning there is uh, some extra sand. It is stored at the corner of the city. When the sand blow, it become a very very dusty spot. So I'll go with China Harbor. We discuss together, find the better solution to use it to create an artificial islands. It become a protection for to reduce the breakwater. I don't consider a great investment 
I believe this discussion, this solution with our both win-win situation and we mutually discuss, we mutually building, we mutually share, have this success come to report. So today as a special day, we meet our friend from Aramco, from Royal Commission, from China Harbor, from all our business partner companies. We believe from this commercial port, it's a completion for the project construction only. But for our future development, for our relation, it's just a start. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Yang. We had very dedicated potential but kind high management of Saudi Aramco. I'm so lucky to have Yahya Vishal, General Manager for Saudi Aramco, among us today. To make this evening more beautiful, I would like to solicit Mr. Yahya Vishal to please come on stage and bless us with your kind words. With a round of applause. Mr. Yahya Bishar. Assalamu alaikum. And good afternoon to all of my colleagues here in the podium. Uh, I don't know what to say, but it is uh, th this uh, setup brings me with a lot of emotions. I can tell you that we work, I work with all of you, my colleagues in Saudi Aramco, my young talents, that they did a wonderful job. In this uh, this huge uh, facility that we built, uh, leaderships that I see also from Saudi Aramco, China Harbor, the wonderful team, uh, uh, also our Royal Commission, our, our colleagues in the Royal Commission, the collaboration cooperation that we had together in making this happening, and today it is in operation. That. Uh, we really, we really presented an, ex an excellent example of collaboration. I remember the tough days that we went through. Lots of hard work. Tough work. Wasn't an easy. I came in 2018 here, and the board was, uh, was just a dust. And China Harbor was doing a wonderful job in terms of bridging, in terms of bridging the wall of the north, the north uh, side and the south south uh, south side uh, the west side was not yet there uh, but i can tell you get uh, an excellent memories a lot of feelings a lot of push a lot of fair time we were we were working all in tough time uh, china harbor i've seen the work here i think here they did a wonderful job it's very small in other areas we had a lot of work together to make it happening it was not an easy job complete the job. But the thing that I really like is their determinations, their hard work, my team, when they were working with them hand to hand to make it happen. Uh, I really would like to thank China as a country for bringing happiness to our people in Saudi Arabia, helping us to really contribute to the world. We're bringing happiness to the world by just sending these products from this facility. We're making people happy. We're bringing prices down. So you are our true partners. Uh, we saw you in the tough time, how cooperative you were. So this determined that the two nations are people that they work hard to make, the war, to make their remarks in the world. So uh, China Harbor, also we gained you. We are very happy as uh, Saudi Aramco project management to have a contractor who is one of our partners in our, in our development plan that we, we, uh, we are doing and we continue to do. So we're very happy, trust me, in project management when we have a new contractor coming and prove himself, work hard to, uh, we work hard together, we really gain something and we, we, we bring another friend shoulder to shoulder. So. Uh, I'd like really to thank the team in China Harbor. I know I was sometimes very tough with some of you. I apologize, but I was doing my role. <laughs> we, 
we were here to produce this facility, and if, he, if I had not pushed you, you may not have been finished. <laughs> so uh, I mean, working together, helping each other, uh, tapping on each other, shouting at each other, it's something good. <laughs> it brings product out, which we are today all happy to see, and uh, the country and the nation and the world are very happy to see it happening. So thank you very much, Mr. Young, specifically to you. I know I called you many times. <laughs> we had tough time, but uh, you delivered. So this is what matters. At the end of the day, you delivered, your team delivered, my team delivered, Royal Commission delivered. We're very happy, and soon, inshallah, we see the operator here is up running, bringing a lot of goods, sending a lot of goods, uh, making people happy and live happy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Yahya. And it is true that if you have not been hard, and maybe we are not standing here today. This is all the efforts from all of us, combined efforts. Thank you, everyone. Okay, moving on. Uh, all of this hard work done in the last six years to construct this port is for the Royal Commission. We were not so much in interaction with the Royal Commission during the process and execution, but as we see, they are taking the remarkable care of this place and using it the way it was uh, meant to serve. It will make the difference to hear the valuable opinion of our esteemed guest, His Excellency, Dr. Hossein Fadili, CEO of the Royal Commission Jazan. Please, sir, we request you to kindly come on stage and say a few words for us. Thank you. on the ground, 
it makes the spot your heart in a different manner. Today, I am glad to announce uh, on behalf of Royal Commission that we are going to build on the front uh, uh, area of the sea as a water park on a budget more than 12.5 billion. And this has been <laughs> approved by our uh, management and soon we will start the construction of Shalva. Also, uh, I'm glad to announce that the first cruise from cruise company will come to this port, inshallah, by year 2023. And we are going to have a meeting with their CEO tomorrow, inshallah. So this kind of thing will never happen if there is no port. I would not be able to bring people to my area cruising to Jezam Mountain and to Abraham Mountains for hikings if I have no port. I will not also be able to reduce the cost of some of the materials and the goods that we have, like what, like what we have in the port now, by 20% for people here in the area if I don't have this port. So everybody contributed into building this port. We should thank him including China Harbor, who built the port. Saudi Aramco were tasked by the government to execute this port. Royal Commission, those who get lately on board to manage this port, and also Hutchinson, who won uh, the bid for operating uh, this port. And uh, I, uh, really, I would like to share with you something that the fairest email drafted for myself during my presence with the Royal Commission when I leave Saudi Aramco was to Hashistan. And Dr. Ala, uh, Dr. Ala Nasir, he told me the story of building the port and they are about to operate it. So we are looking for an operator. So I was sh searching the goggles, calling some of my friends in the map. Then I sent an email to Hashistan. Then the email back with announcement, so many announcements, so, so nobody get back to me, you know? And then we try to call them in, in person when, uh, when Miguel came on board. I don't know if he is here today, but uh, the story of Hutchinson, when they get into that bit, was somehow crazy, you know? They came to us as a team and they said, we are going to win this kind of thing. And I said to them, you know, the uh, people from Dubai uh, uh, and also from Tawani uh, Saudi and everybody is, is into that bit. I was one of the people who opened that bit. I just stood there, but uh, we were allocating 250 million to operate this one. Uh, and then we find those from Dubai, how much they have been from Tawani Saudi and many others. When we opened it, for Hashistan, they put zero. They don't need any single dollar. And then we look into it, they said, you know what? We will give you another 100 million per year. Then lately, I asked them about, okay, definitely they went to bed and things move, you know? Why they did that? They say, you know, you guys look to the world from this side. We, Chinese, look to the world from that side. 17,000 ships comes across this area and you don't know about it. So only the maintenance of these ships can give you more than 200 million. You take 100 million and give me the boat. <laughs> you see how, how people look really into, into gaining and grasping the opportunity. And now the boat is start really, alhamdulillah, working. And a lot of things that is coming. And uh, definitely soon, inshallah, we will be uh, running uh, all activity of the, of the port, uh, including the marine services for, uh, for Saudi Arabia, as yeah, they are told just now. So uh, I should, I'm really glad to be part of the team from the beginning. I'm really glad to be with you uh, uh, into this tent. And I look forward, inshallah, to have the same tent from China Harbor 
when they finish our seawater cooling system. And by the way, they win the bid for the seawater cooling system with our commission with 1.6 billion uh, per year. So, uh, Shaiba Harbor, uh, inshallah, and many of the good contractors in this area, we need them to be working aligned with us. And as Yahya said, we should work shoulder by shoulder until we get uh, this city, inshallah, uh, uh, in place and built from A to Z. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Mr. Padri. Uh, I hope we keep on working for mutual prosperity in the future as well. Thank you very much. We have uh, had a lot of challenges while doing this project. First off, there were dunes of sand when we first arrived. We had to full, uh, fill the sand in the ocean to get the natural sea depth for the harbor basin for this project, for this port. We had to deal with countless brilliant minds of our honorable client as well. And then we were privileged to have a gem of a man, Mr. Hassan Mubarak. Undoubtedly, Mr. Hassan Mubarak, he made the impossible possible for us and supported us unconditionally at every stage. The smooth execution and successful completion of this project were never possible without having Mr. Hassan Mubarak guiding and lighting the way for us. So, I would like to request Mr. Hassan Mubarak to kindly take over the stage and address to our guests. Assalamu alaikum, Jimmy Ahmed, Sakhbar, Khair. First of all, let me come up on what Nabi did. It's a teamwork, really, uh, it's not only really Hassan Mubarak. I really appreciate the whole team efforts, which I will also extend the, the, you know, the appreciation in my quick uh, thank you message. Uh, it was great uh, to have everyone today here, and thanks for China Harper for the, uh, arranging this gathering. It's always a great and enjoyable event to have uh, a celebration for achieving, you know, or finishing the projects. Uh, it was also a good for me, myself. I joined the board almost two years. And uh, it is really one thing that maybe some people know about me, but this is outside my comfort zone. Normally, I, uh, in my career with the company, I worked in uh, oil and gas and also pipelines. So I was covering for some time, and then I ended up continuation for this, which I really, really appreciate. It did help a lot, expanding my knowledge, my experience. It was uh, one thing that uh, unique for it is really the number of stakeholders in my whole career, career like this is the highest number I dealt with the stakeholders, be it at 10 contracts, uh, aside from the uh, lump sum here in the board, but we have other contractors interfering in this area. We do have also the stakeholders outside. We have uh, our uh, uh, partner SEC, we have uh, Royal Commission, Hutchinson, and uh, government affairs, be it customs, be it cost cars. This is all the number of stakeholders make me think about the best way to join uh, jointly as and proactively work together. And this is ended up really, this is what I would like to say, the best work team I ever uh, had in the my career. Very cooperative, all the teams in the resolving issues, be it contractor team, Aramco team and also other stakeholders, Royal Commission Hatches. I can put a lot of examples today to, join, uh, to share with you, but just because uh, of the sake of time, it was really a great, really teamwork to the point like I have, uh, we have in Aramco actually, a, a kind of a transformation for uh, executing a project. There is an integrated project team. I can tell you this is kind of an integrated project team with my colleague, and I would like also to uh, mention the name of my uh, partner, the mission of Deshia Ibrahim. It's always uh, one team from their side, from our side, representing the company. 
um, that always the goal with the, my team or presenting myself in a, in, a, in a meeting, and the same way I do have to take his place on some other uh, occasions. So really, uh, it was very fantastic. This is a short and sweet message for everyone, and thanks for all the efforts. By this, uh, the occasion here, not only just to celebrate also, and I think I take the, this opportunity to extend the appreciation, and I would like to really thank you, very, special thanks to extend to uh, the management, on top of it, really our general manager, Abar Drahman, thank you very much for your guidance and support. Not only the board, if I take it for my personal message to you, he was also my general manager, supporting me to finish successfully the SRU, the self recovery units, just before joining the, uh, uh, the, the board uh, project. Thank you very much, Abar Drahman. I would like to, uh, as I said, I would like to uh, also uh, extend a special thanks to Bukrahim uh, for his support and uh, really a practical guy. Uh, Maybe tough sometimes for signing PMCC, but he has some reasons for it. So we really appreciate that one. Um, the reason for the, the date is the last PMCC with China Harbor was, alhamdulillah, successfully completed. And just to announce, they have a zero, no items, not only the uh, yes items. That's why they did have this celebration today. So, I would like also to thank our partner uh, from Royal Commissions, really Abu Yazan, Abu Mansur, Abu Daniel Suri, and also uh, uh, I have one guy that usually I see him in, 